Now, as you can see, you can probably get quite a lot of alerts. Uh, so one thing you don't want to do is make sure you've only got one person that's receiving all of these alerts in your organization um, and they have the sole responsibility of uh, following them up. So one thing you can do is segment your alerts by cohorts um, or whatever makes sense in your particular school. So I'll just jump back to the alerts tab here and we've got our self-harm searches. If I just duplicate this alert, you can see all the keywords that we're detecting for search engines. And all you need to do is hit the more criteria here and we've got some fields that we're pulling directly from Active Directory. So assuming you've set up all the authentication that Ben was talking about, we match the authenticated user going through your Sophos XG with their object in Active Directory, allowing you to segment reports and alerts by departments, security groups, companies, and offices. So let's say you're using the department field to uh, represent the cohort of your, of your school. So let's put in year 10. And I'll add another criteria here. Let's say you're using security groups to segment your staff and students. So I'll say security group equal to students. So now we have an alert on self-harm searches just for year 10 students. You might want to rename this alert to year 10 students. And the important part is down here in the alert notifications, you can simply send this to your year 10 department coordinator and then they'll be receiving the alerts, not someone in the IT team or whoever you've got defined by default to accept all of these alerts. So really simple to segment your alerts if you can get the authentication through your Sophos XG.